do all my writing on the iPad Pro. I enjoy the distraction-free environment and it really helps me focus. My app of choice for getting this done is OneWriter. It is a markdown text editor that is quick and easy to use. For those that don't know what Markdown is, I'll include a link in the description of the video. But in short, Markdown is a formatting shortcut that is heavily used in blogging. OneWriter's design resembles a very popular Mac application called NVAlt. OneWriter also has very simple syncing that I choose to sync with a single folder I have in Dropbox. That way I can write on multiple devices, including NVAlt on my Mac. This way I can also take advantage of Dropbox's previous version feature. So if I mess anything up on my iPad, I can restore it from the site. There are multiple themes built into the app, including my favorite, of course, dark mode. OneWriter's dark mode has a very dark gray background with lighter text, making it useful all the time, not just at night. OneWriter also has a preview button, so if you want to see what your Markdown document looks like, you can see from the app with no need to export. This is handy if you're just learning Markdown or if you have a large document you want to double check your formatting. Speaking of learning Markdown, OneWriter has a custom keyboard bar that gives you shortcuts to Markdown formats. When I first started out, I used them a lot to learn Markdown. When you move the app into Split View, it condenses the shortcut bar into a smaller menu that fits the single line requirement for Split View. Since I mostly work with OneWriter in two-thirds view and notes in one-third view, I'm quite used to this, and everything I still use is there. The Action menu has some handy options as well, including Copy, Email, Print, Open In, and Pin to Notification Center. Whenever you select one of these options, you are asked how you want the text to be exported as. In most cases, it's either plain text or formatted text. Which is nice for when I do any editing, I will export into PDF, then into Notability, and use my Apple Pencil to mark up the script for any changes that need to be made. There are also Actions, and these can either be URL-based or JavaScript. I have a couple I use, like Find and Replace, and Footnotes for quick notes about something I am writing. There is a directory where other people's actions have been written are hosted, so if you're not sure what you're doing, take a look at those. To sum up, RunWriter is a great place to write up anything long form, especially if you write a markdown. I have been using it ever since I went iPad for my primary device about a year ago, and I couldn't be happier. There are other competitors out there, and I will likely cover them in the future. OneWriter is available for iPhone and iPad, and you can find OneWriter on the iOS App Store for $4.99. You can find me on the internet at ChristopherLolly.com and Twitter at Chris underscore Lolly. I would really appreciate any feedback, and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.